night. Let's have a relaxing evening tonight. And we'll browse through the Reader's Digest magazine. This is September 2021. Amazon drivers can't reveal. That'd be a good one. I'm saving a friend from killer bees. Boost your energy. Brain farm. Mm. all the stories that they mentioned on the cover. Oh, does that one boost your energy? Just about a whooping cough vaccine. Oh, goodness. I also have a uh, I have another vaccine. They have the pneumonia vaccine for seniors. And there's another one I can't think of seniors and I'm amazed at all the vaccines they pump at you when you go in for a visit outside of COVID of course but what your Amazon driver wants you to know yeah because now we have these special Amazon driver trucks they're like caravans minivans <laughs> Look at the picture. I'm in my bedroom bunker. Look at the Amazon. That will be good. Real honey. Whole grain oats, new spin on calibration brand. So, toasted oats and honey. on your device so it won't be so bright in your room maybe it's not so bright in your room 
you can fall asleep quicker and easier and perhaps you can be the winner in our ongoing challenge. First one who falls asleep wins. So I've got my puppy. This is the best feeling brush. I'm just a wisp over your whole face. Love this thing. Anyways. And supposed to be doing a relaxing video. I was in my bedroom bunker, didn't I? Can you hear some snoring in the background? That will really help you fall asleep. Really smart.
my brother and I were born without a sense of smell. So I appreciate that was mentioned in your list of facts about smell. Your mom did an experiment about popcorn in the kitchen. They couldn't smell the popcorn, so I guess the mom was helping identify their issue. Um, speaking about sense of smell, for those of you who experiencing, who experiencing, who, excuse me, for those of you who experience ASMR, I've asked this before, but I don't know if anybody really responded. Personally, I have a very keen sense of smell and a very keen uh, sense of hearing. I'm wondering if that's something ASMR, uh, ASMR people have. And the people who don't or cannot experience a ASMR, what kind of smell, sense of smell and hearing do they have? And I've noticed it in my daughters as well. My one daughter doesn't enjoy whispering or ASMR at all. Not very keen senses. My other daughter, who's more prone to ASMR, keen to everything. Is your bladder always taking you on a trip of its own? Is this a merbetrogad? Um, seizes the opportunity to do good after destructive wildfire. Oh my goodness. So many fires up in Northern California. What What in the world? Mm, Ten year old Reese lost her Fresno County, California home. Largest wildfires in the state last fall. Oh, last fall. Well, that's old news. We have like one or two burning now that are the largest. That's terrible. Um, she had a very person concerned. Did anyone grab the baseball cards? Oh my goodness. And of course, no. Aww. Mm. That was nice. And this guy, Mr. Ashford, had a donut cards must have fetched up to fifty thousand uh dollars. -huh. That's nice. Kindness delivered. And my request came in. chef or a restaurant owner got a lovely email and wanted to connect, meet you, and make your make a fresh dish for you in person. Oh, it was final stages of lung cancer. Oh, he was writing on behalf of his mother-in-law. If I wanted to meet a chef, 
so they can get back to uh, making money again. I think that that's been the shutdown during COVID. They were doing shows from home. That was not interesting. Same with uh, uh, Guy Fiere. They were doing shows from home. Or maybe they're back out on the road. from the United States. <laughs> Nine-year-old responds, my hair is not messy, it's on an adventure. How's that with response? Getting back, getting even with the one you love, my husband ticked me off, so I sent him a picture of the thermostat. It was set to 72 degrees. Isn't it funny how the thermostat can really be like night and day uh, for a household? That is so true. Uh, not a problem for us as our family was we were raising our family, but I notice now I pay more attention to the thermostat than I ever did. Hmm. Instead of telling my husband I'm annoyed with him, I'm just going to put strawberries in the salad. I agree. I do not enjoy strawberries in a salad. That's funny. Mm. How to boost your energy. Yeah, that picture pretty much sums it all. <laughs> even the even her plant has picked up the no energy vibes. That's funny. Uh, Forty-three-year-old Carolyn, worn out, working, shuttling two kids to school and play dates, taking care of housework. COVID hit March twenty-twenty. Uh-oh. Kids suddenly home. Oh my goodness. That had to have been just overwhelming for so many families. All the extra responsibility, mental load, it just added up. I feel grumpy and tired. Not due to lack of sleep. One thing many of us have in common is that we're tired. Doctors have a name for it. Tired all the time. Remember Eddie Murphy party all the time? Well, that's when he's tired all the time. Tat, for short, T A T T. Solution isn't always as simple as getting more sleep. Nearly a quarter of people get seven or more hours of rest. Say they're still tired most days after waking up. A few weeks after her, Fatigue set in. She decided to drop everything, go for a walk. Mm, Want to be by myself? Needed a break. Doing something active when you're sluggish will actually increase your energy. It, it won't consume 
a little that you have. Fat researchers, University of Georgia, fat, 10 minutes of lower moderate intensity. Exercise gives, gave steady, steady participants in school energy boost. Another study of people who committed working out 20 minutes three times a week increased their energy level by, oops, Twenty percent in six weeks. When we don't work out regularly, our muscles can become weakened. So all we do is um, in an everyday activity, we're tired or more tired. That makes sense. for a walk to work out the muscles. Got it. That makes sense. Make more red blood cells. Um, um, fatigue is often connected to having up iron, vitamin B12. I believe that Meaning, your body doesn't produce enough healthy red blood cells when you're low on iron. Uh, no enough red blood cells, less oxygen gets carried to the cells. Got it. I've been paying attention a lot lately to oxygen due to COVID, uh, which, of course, B12. Because iron and the B vitamins are commonly absorbed from red meat shellfish. People on low vegetarian, vegan diet are at more risk. That's true. I do believe a relative had that issue. Like within a year or two after going on the vegetarian. These and other vitamins and mineral deficiencies can be identified with a blood test and treated with supplements and a change in diet. Um, observation. Remember like this year of excruciating pain in my knee and then comes to find out I'm low in vitamin D, vitamin A, and iron. I'm wondering if, you know, they say, oh, arthritis is just a uh, degenerative disease or something like that. I'm really wondering if you can avoid, even if perhaps arthritis runs in your family, I think there's a starting point. I'm... I'm hypothesizing that when you're deficient in whatever you're deficient is, that's going to harm something. It's harmful. So, but and just depending on, on you, it might be harmful. Maybe it affects your eyes, fix something. For me, uh, arthritis. So, um, I'm going to research that. It's so important as we age to keep up our vitamins and minerals because I think that's what it does. It sets you on a course for something. But depending on your DNA, it's going to be different for everybody. And remember, that's just my hypothesis. I'm not a medical professional. I'm just a day train believer and wishing to be a homecoming queen wishing I had been a homecoming queen okay 60 second fix to boost your energy in a minute or less peppermint tea that sounds good
open the blinds, get some sun, a few deep breaths. Show a piece of sugar free gum. Increases alertness. Interesting. Sing a song. Oh my goodness. Music. Put on a good song that I love and I'm revitalized. Careful with simple carbs. When your food digests food, it turns into glucose, which is then sent by your bloodstream, all your muscles and organs, including your brain. Your blood sugar naturally fluctuates during this process. And when it's low, you can feel sluggish. A simple way to keep your body sugar consistent is to eat a meal or snack every two or three hours. I can do that. In fact, I think I did that already. <laughs> In fact, I think I got them beat. I'm having a meal or snack every one hour. I think my pain pills, my arthritis, make me hungry. It could be a condition. If you've been unusually tired for more than a month, ask the doctor what's the underlying problem. One common culprit is sleep apnea, where your breathing starts and stops throughout the night. Oh, no. That's another thing I'm... I'm researching. I had heard uh, back uh, on a YouTube video, uh, Dr. Berg, Dr. Eric Berg, cardiologist. What a wonderful wealth of information his YouTube channel is. Uh, I think he has a website as well by I learn um, most of my information from his YouTube channel. He talked about B2 deficiency and sleep apnea. So, I want to research it more. I'm pretty sure it was B2. Maybe it was B1. B1 or B2. I have to... Speaking of sleep apnea, can you hear it? snoring in the background. Side note, I have a extended video from a few years back. Uh, I think it's a 75 minute one of uh, deep sleep and snoring. If I remember, I'll post the link below. It's 75 minutes of my husband sleeping. So it's a snoring video. Sleeping sound, or maybe it was sleeping sounds. Sleeping sound. If you're interested, I'll post that link in the description box for us. That'd be fun. So again, I'm going to just find out if it's B1 or B2. Uh, Maybe I'll be one, be two. Dr. Eric Berg, B E R G. Oops. Oh, let's see. All right. Frosted mini weeds. Made for those who love cinnamon rolls. Everyone now can eat. I think I just put the original. Uh, true stories. New reason, new reason to smile. New reason to smile. I'm Russian, but I've lived in Kansas the last five years. My American husband brought me to this country. I'm working at a department store. 
My co-workers pronounce my Russian name so sweetly. It's as if my mom is embracing me. Um, and she got invited over to see a co-worker's mom. see her mom because of COVID but then she found a co-worker with a mom uh, who uh, made her feel like she was with her own mom that was nice we're aware this may be one of the most virtually viewed spots on the planet Microsoft turned a photo of it into a popular screensaver. There's a computer. Viewing it in person is a much rarer feat. These calcified sand dunes broke the bands red, pink, and yellow, white, Navajo sandstone have been around for 190 million years, but to protect it from Stampede of Taurus. Um, Bureau of Land Management. That's only 65 lotto winners a day. Where is this? I want to say Arizona. They say Texas. Arizona. Mexico, Nevada. Painted Desert. Little Grand Canyon. Oh, it's a toss up. It's either in Arizona, the wave, or Little Grand Canyon in Texas. What's the answer? Where do you go to find the answer? Oh, page 119. Let's see. Arizona, yeah, because I'm guessing there's like a part of the Grand Canyon. That is something. your metabolism, gut health immunity boost. What's the name of that? Um, um, I said, you know, acid and other nutrients. you to know and that is going to be good I can leave a maybe a nice note on my door for the Amazon driver next time let's see if you see me going up and down your street seven or eight times it's not because I'm lost it's because our route makes no sense Computer generated it. I have us constantly doubling back where we already were, making up unsafe turns. Sometimes we have to cross a busy four lane road on foot to get to where we need to be. That's, oh, uh, yeah, I believe that. And that's a whole nother video we can do about me and a GPS. I've never told you this. Uh, future videos, me. On GPS. I had an incident just happened yesterday. And so this uh, video will also talk about the Thomas Guide. Thomas Guide. And uh, uh, 
That will be a fun video. I don't think I've ever shared that. To this day, I still think I'm what I do is the best. But we'll see. Number two. That if I have to run across the four lane highway, that means I have to block traffic. Driver sure stuck behind me, swear, lay on the horn. And they call Amazon and complain. I'm afraid I'll lose my job. Three. Amazon uses an app and monitors our score on driving. We can be fired if our score drops too low. But we could have a flaw, an app that is flawed, penalizing us for breaking hard, even when it's the right thing to do. And if the motion of the vehicle jostles our phone, we get flagged. Uh, some of us wrap our phones in towels and place them in the glove box so they register as little movement as possible. Now Amazon is installing cameras that can detect when we look at our phones or yawn. Many of us see this as invasion of privacy. That doesn't address the real reason why we sometimes drive dangerously. Aggressive delivery codes. Mm. Next, in a four hour shift, we're expected to cart as many as 400 packages, 250 stops. That's about one stop every three minutes. Oh my goodness. Well, that might work because I noticed in our neighborhood, tons of people get Amazon. I, uh, in the evening, if you're waiting for your package, and they tell you what time it's going to be there, they'll show you a little map that says your driver is here. And there's seven stops before yours. And it's all in this area. And then in the afternoon, I think there's two Amazon runs at our house. In the afternoon, I get a text saying, Amazon package has arrived. So I go to get the package. I open the door, and he's already across the street. Then he already moves up two or three houses. Then he circles around, come back. And makes a few stops on the other side of the street. So that could be maybe easily made, perhaps. We wear Amazon uniforms. We drive Amazon vans, subject to Amazon rules. But we don't actually work for Amazon. Instead, we work for a third-party company that lease Amazon vans and pay us to operate them. Oh. This is interesting. We're proud that our delivery service partner program has empowered 2,500 entrepreneurs across the U.S. Now that's interesting because one time I had a uh, Amazon delivery, but it was not an Amazon truck, but it was an Amazon person with the uniform. And I happened to be outside and I freaked. And <laughs> she looked like she was coming towards me to hand, hand me the package. And I said, No, stay away. Stay away. Go. Put it on the porch. I'll be right there. And she said, No worries. We have to put it on the house. They had to take a picture of where it was placed, so that worked out. Oh, include delivery instructions, please. If your home is hard to find, or if it needs to go over a gate, behind a fence, under a rock. Don't write. Let's see. We deliver as late as 10. Yes, they do. So, light is helpful. I always have a porch light. But don't write down a delivery time. We, we might not be able to be there exactly when you want. <gasps> Thank you for the snacks. 
Nuts, granola bars. Thank you. If you're thinking of a tip, we prefer cash. Earlier this year, Amazon agreed to pay $61.7 million to settle a claim. Uh, FTC said in 2016 to 2019. Secretly kept in their vehicle. Terrible. How do they worry about the tips? Here's what we've noticed about the ultra rich. They order more ordinary items like toilet paper, cereal, stuff they could easily pick up at the store. They also tend to have long driveways, which are not fun. That's true. Since Amazon doesn't like us to drive in reverse, but apartment complexes are the worst. Oh, that's right. Some um, driveways, there's nowhere to turn around. Oh. We wish that you wouldn't order certain items if you live on the third floor of a building with no elevator. I believe that. 50 pound bag of dog food. Yeah, that's a shame. A driver in New York State says he lost 60 pounds in five months. I believe it. Most jobs has a blood blur of my own. Any love we ever had for dogs, oh my goodness. I guess they'd be like a, a postman. That reminds me of Loretta. Remember Loretta? She has a dog. I don't even ask anymore if I happen to hear the dog barking. Oh, geez, they're one of three people. I'd say they're... UPS, Amazon, or postal mail carrier. And they can hear the trucks when it comes in, like, right in their area. It doesn't even have to be right in front of our house. Or, yeah, FedEx, that's another one. Yeah. I can leave goods inside your garage if you download the free Amazon key app. No. Thank you. Um, porch pirates. And that way we avoid porch pirates. And I'm home, so we've had no porch pirates. Uh, FedEx. That's right, that's another truck that gets barked at. If they don't take breaks at FedEx, they get fired. Yeah, you do need a break. Uh, if we come back to the office early, uh, our manager's office sent us out to rescue another driver who's behind. Uh, still, the job has its perks. It's not nice being in an office. So we do enjoy being outside. We get at least 15 bucks an hour. And there's heartwarming moments. Well, when a customer offers us a home cooked meal to go. And well, when we get to a house where there's a kid at the door eagerly waiting for us to deliver that package, people see us pull up in the van and break into a big smile. That has to be fun, see? and talk show host anytime we use the word if we put doubt on whatever comes next that's true and there's so many ifs these days uh, right home rooms in high places We did that on our 
honeymoon. Mexico. What's that? Mm, pony miracles. Little hero horse magic. How cute. Power to reduce allergens. Cat hair and dander. Live pro plan live clear or live clear. Perina. Interesting. Simplest smartphone ever. Lively smart. Huh. Laughter Beth Medicine. Number one selling walk in tub. What it's like to be in a coma. I'm laughing because so many days I think of what am I thinking of? Like, I think of myself. Twilight Zone. America. That's a good example. Twilight Zone between life and death and this mystery that doctors can solve. Mm -hmm. Some remember nothing. Some remember a great deal of feelings. I guess they're looking for people. Uh, email. More information. Coma, curing coma campaigns. A group of neuro, neurocritical care specialists form over the world developing coma treatment strategies. That's a good idea. Curingcoma.com. Oh, that's a really good idea. Um, oh, it's a jitterbug, that, that phone. I thought that was the easiest jitter. smart but it's from Jitterbug. No, oh it's a different jitterbug this is a lively flip that was a lively something else smart the lively smart lively flip what happened to the, did they used to have a ticket somewhere Parkinson's patients should hit the links. World of Medicine. Interesting. When peanut allergies hit adults, it's an immune system can make certain food proteins for pollen. Mm. Even if you've never had trouble with peanuts before, call a doctor if you notice allergy symptoms such as hives, runny nose, Tingling mouth, shortness of breath, dizziness, after eating peanuts. So things can change as you age, yep. Nerve relief, nerve relief. Number one, shine nerve care. I've seen this so much. Fortifies your nerve health. Results as soon as 14 days. Helps you fall asleep. Wonder if that's over the counter. Laugh lines, hearing aids. Say big. Prove your brain function and memory. For only $200. I think every year around this time Amazon comes out. I mean, Reader's Digest comes out with just such a, like a genius issue. I wonder if they think because fall 
September is fall is coming. Everybody's going to be stuck inside. And that's why reunited with her rescuers. 35 years after two fishermen plucked a young girl from the Pacific Ocean. Podcast leads to a remarkable reunion. Um, wouldn't that be something? Uh, 1986. Desiree Rodriguez, age nine, floated in her life jacket until help arrived. Meeting was on happier terms this year. She had been drifting in the cold Pacific water for a night. And most of the day, a nine-year-old... Oh, what a good story. Two die. Nine survive. Capsizing of a pleasure boat at sea. Three were lost, but a girl, age nine, survived. Uh, uh, let's read that again. Girl, age nine, survived. The capsizing. Two die, three were lost, but one girl survived. I love stories like that. What is there? Two years for 17 change. One year for 20, almost 20. I think if you go to Amazon, I don't think you can get 10 bucks a year. was her 35th anniversary of the accident. And they took her and her family and the fishing boat to Catalina Island following the same course they took all those years ago. Looks the same as it did back then when we found her. They exchanged flowers. Oh my goodness. me believe in the impossible keep me hopeful for miracles every day when I read a story like that. It's mad mad world. Let's focus on stories that are so crazy we have no choice but to shake our heads and laugh. That's true. Karaoke at home. Bring a clown out. Office for a party with the wounds. Autism diagnosis, age forty six. My diagnosis was like discovering a missing piece of my brain. That's how I felt like as an adult, realizing I had possibly. ADD and dyslexia as a grammar school, junior high and high school. <laughs> you don't know what's wrong with you, but then when you do, that man, it's okay. And all your questions are answered. Don't call us. We'll call you. These hiring managers uh, took to reddit.com to share the oddest job candidates they've interviewed. That's crazy. What about the job interests you? The interviewer asked. And, and the response is, well, what job do you mean? The job that you applied for. What job is that I applied for again? What do you do here? Um, no, it's hysterical. Um, what do you think you can bring to this job? Hire me and find out. <laughs> and then, we stopped the interview then and there. That is hysterical. And then the interviewer says, Oh, hello, I see you've managed a vegetarian restaurant. And the guy says, What? It says here you managed a vegetarian restaurant. Oh, I guess I did write that. Not really, though. My girlfriend had an art exhibition. 
I ordered sandwiches for the opening. They were vegetarian. Oh, here's a good story. Thousand stings. Swarmed by killer bees. Their toxins cursing through the bloodstream. A rock climber passes out on the ledge 130 feet up. Can his buddy reach him in time? Oh my goodness. The Rock Hills of Fuego Tanks. West Texas. It's been a long time climbing paradise. Aren't the killer bees? I heard a thing a month or so that they're back somewhere. Rao gave him the heebie-jeebies. Midway was a memorial plaque for someone who had died there during a climb. And then he gets attacked by killer bees. He watched as a cloud of bees swirled out of the rock. It was like a scene from a horror movie, I bet. Are you kidding me? That is crazy. Well, he lived to tell the story, so that's good. No matter the danger, he'd always managed to flick a switch in his brain to turn off the fear. What to know? Oh my goodness. And then they went back to visit months later. They went a different path. Sun was just right. The breeze was light. They stood up again. The rope strong and secure between them. And they went back on the rock. Oh my goodness. Learning my funny stand-up comedian learns the best kind of stand-up comedy is the kind you do for yourself. I think that's true. Nobody else understands it, maybe. But I make myself laugh a lot. When people get mad at me. They think I'm laughing at people in their situation. Remember the lady who was upset at me because... We were doing a National Enquirer, a globe tabloid on the cover was Garth Brooks and uh, his wife. And they were making a uh, story out of them being fat or gaining weight. And I was laughing. Oh my goodness, making all these comments. Uh, I'm assuming it was a newbie. And she just reamed me for laughing at fat people or chubby people. I realize that to others I could, that could be in, interpreted. So let me take this time to say I'm so grateful for you long time viewers. Uh, I think you understand me a little bit better than that. I really appreciate having you here. But I could not be a stand up comic people. I'd get in so much trouble. They wouldn't understand my funny. Confident and comfortable in your own skin, men, dried shield technology, brain games. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, word power, my sweetheart. We've been doing this since 1982. Not as regularly anymore as we used to, but it's still joy. Generational wealth. 225 bucks per full coin. Here's all the answers. All the hidden questions. Now I use bladder protection that cares for my skin as well. Always discreet. Photo finish. Here's five dollars if anyone asks. Tell them you didn't see me and you don't know who gave you the money. That's a good idea. Somebody may... Um, they always want a heading to a picture, and that was, you could really say you didn't see him. Look at her face. <laughs> oh, this was fun. Sketchers, ultimate comfort solution. Sketchers with an arch fit. Podiatrist design shape, comfort arch support, machine washable, highly recommended. Possibly, but you guys know I'm so about. Well. 